How's it guys? Welcome back to FX Rhapsody. Today we're looking at two currency pairs, doing analysis on them. It's going to be the British pound US dollar and then also the Euro USD dollar. We'll be using the COT reports on the analysis. So do yourself a favor and go to my website. It's on the bottom left corner over here. And just go download the COT report. It's updated. And then it's in the resource tab on the website. And then also on the website you'll get lots of information regarding trading, um, depending on your trading um, experience. There's also various categories there and where you can, if you get started, go cl click on that and then um, it will tell you all about trading and then also some strategies and previous analysis and all that um, categorized very neatly into my website and lots, lots more information. There's also a preferred brokers tab, um, brokers that I use. So um, just go try them out. Um, I've been through many a broker and I've stuck to these guys. So these are these are, they are brilliant. So then I'll just tell you a little about a little bit about them on my website as well. All right, so let us hit the chart. So we are starting off with our British pound US dollar. We're looking at the monthly first. The reason for that is I wanted to show you this. So it's becoming a trend on the British pound. Um, or the pound basically we had this low over here so price coming up again and then liquidity being tapped on this low and then after that liquidity run you could see price going to the upside so the liquidity run was happened or happened yeah and then after that you could see that big push on the pound um, over there what currently is what is currently happening is you could see another liquidity run on the British pound and that is going to be this one over here. So we had that low that formed over here, price going up again, going basically touching that support area at the top there. As you can see, there's a nice area of support. So basically price coming down again, tapping into the liquidity run over here. For those of you that don't know about liquidity or know what it is, go into my website. There is definitely, I'm going to actually put a link in the description so you can just, you know, go watch that video on liquidity and liquidity runs. So basically price going into that area of liquidity and then, you know, what do we expect next? Obviously that because it's a repetitive thing. But again, market is not always as it seems. It doesn't mean that it is definitely going to happen. We might see price you know, breaking this area and continue down to the downside. But time will tell. But for me, that is just, um, you know, something to look out for. Let's go to the daily time frame. Just going to maximize it a little bit. So on the daily time frame, what we can see is, I'm just going to highlight out that area of liquidity, or like I showed before. So we have got where I showed you the liquidity run going into that area and then going out. So we had that previous low going price, you know, retracing back into that liquidity going up. Will this be the area where structure has been broken? Will we see price starting to move to the, you know, to the top becoming this whole bearish movement, as you could see here, let's minimize it. So you could see that price was in a bearish movement. Will we see the turn in the market where price, <coughs> excuse me, starts becoming bullish now? For our time frame, let's have a look at what is happening over here. Not a lot to say on the four hour time frame, but um, what I would like to highlight out is um, this area over here. So I'm just going to do this Fibonacci just going to look at something while I've got you here. Okay. So price made a huge pull to the downside. Okay. After this break in liquidity or break in structure. All right. Um, I made a video about this, but let's, I'll talk about this on the one hour time frame. So in any case, price made a turn. So you had a, a swing high and then you had a swing low. Take your Fibonacci out, price coming all the way back to the 62, where you could have made a nice little sell over there for about, let's call it 200 pips down. So you could have caught a nice little sell for those of you that trades on the four hour time frame, or 
you know, even analyze the four hour time frame. Um, where if you had to catch that trade, I would have exited right here. Okay, the reason for that is price going up and catching and then creating that fair value gap, as you could see here, and then price tapping into that 62%, you sell off nicely, exit over here. Again, like you see, you know, you could have had a nice little, basically 200 pip move on that. So remember this Fibonacci that I just pulled for that pullback? I'll show you now in the one hour time frame, you know, how that played out and the reason for that. So on the one hour time frame, again, for those of you, I made a video yesterday about, you know, some nice little entries that happened in the beginning or, you know, this week, basically. We had that low, as you remember now on a daily time frame, that liquidity run, okay? Price going up again, breaking that area, that structure area, you know, turning this into a, not bullish market, but I mean, you could see price turning. With that turn, price created a gap. You could see, um, you know, liquidity or the, the price pushing up, uh, uh, smart money, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for. This guy's pushing the price up and then obviously creating that fair value gap in the market, right, right about there. And again, I'm just quickly repeating my little video of yesterday, price coming down, you could have caught that nice little, um, little upsell, uh, up, that, that, that up in the market, you could have caught that nice little buy area, price going up again, going back into that liquidity area, and then with that huge push to the upside. And then for those of you that again, watch that video, I still said price hit a high over here. And then I still mentioned that, you know, if you had to sell down, I would have sold down to this area because it created another fair value gap. And what happens when price creates a fair value gap? Price action gets drawn towards that gap. I think when I made that video, price was round about over here. And I said, if you're going to sell it off, just remember this is the area. Or if you're looking at any buy areas, this is the area to buy. So basically now what we're seeing is price sitting nicely in this fair value gap area. So again, we're expecting price to go up now. But you know, this is for, this is forex trading, guys, um, especially with currency pairs, you know, fundamentals and all that news impacts in the market. So just be wary about what you're doing. Um, always drill down to your lower time frames react to the market react to the market don't just predict keep this keep your analysis intact and then react to what the market is doing so basically i'm just as you can see price is just basically currently in that fair value gap area create a little block i'm just going to do that so i would like to see price obviously breaking out of this area over here if there's any um, to see if there's any current or uh, continuation upwards and or like I said price can just easily break to the bottom and carry on downwards what does the CRT report tells us so we're looking at the British pound so on the British pound side of things we could see that the net position is getting a little bit um, stronger it went from a negative 80,000 um, orders to a negative 65,000 orders. So slightly, the price is slightly moving to the upside. Um, we could see some longs being closed to the market, more shorts being closed to the market though, you know, more shorts than longs. And that is why, sorry, that is why um, we could see that, you know, turn in the market. So let's see what price does or what happens in the British pound US dollar. My bias is obviously price you know starting to buy up again because the reason for that is as well you could see that um, especially on the hourly time frame um, all this liquidity is still intact and you can see that price action is hunting that previous liquidity that's lying at the bottom here so the next obviously um, liquidity will be the big one up at the top here so we'll be definitely looking out for price uh, excuse me around about there so we'll look at price maybe heading towards that area over there. I don't like talking about um, price itself on a number value. 
I'm just looking at what the chart does and then catching all those movements. Okay, so let's move on to the next currency pair, <coughs> excuse me, which will be the Euro USD dollar. So on the Euro USD dollar, again, top down analysis, we're starting off with the daily time frame. There we go. So just zooming in a little bit. Daily time frame, what we can see is that price is or hit that previous low. So price coming down, you know, creating a low, going up again, creating a equal low at the bottom there. And you can see price moving to the upside again. So what is going to happen? We don't know yet. So for, for four hour time frame, let's have a look at what happened to the four hour time frame. What we can see is again, you know, oops, let me just zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> the way it stands is it looks like price is literally going and hunting the liquidity that's at the top. We've got the liquidity intact over here. We can see if we pull a Fibonacci out, we can pull the Fibonacci from that swing low to that swing high. Okay, swing low, swing high, price going back into that 62% area, tapping that and then, you know, creating a bit of support on that area. The reason for that is as well, you could see this area as acting as a nice area of support and resistance previous resistance breaking through resist resisted a big push to the upside coming down you know supporting on that area so you know what is going to happen next is it the case that price is going to move to the upside we will have to see one hour time frame one hour time frame relatively the same scenario as your four hour time frame but again just to zooming in a little bit if you know what i mean so basically um, swing low, swing high, as you can see price making a swing low, swing high, price going into that 62% area. And again, you can see on this area over here how price reacted to that key area in the, in the market. So previous resistance, okay, break through that, creating a support level on that area and then price moving up. I want to drill down to the 15 minutes quickly. I want to show you something very interesting. Okay, so I want to zoom out a little bit. There we go, right about there. So you have that movement, you know, that happened in price. Okay, were there any possibilities for trades in this movement? Obviously, there's always possibilities in trades in these movements. So the first possibility or the first area of trades that you could, put, could have placed is over here so you had that low that formed then you had consolidation in the market price building then you had that break in consolidation okay price breaking um that area over there okay as you can see price breaking that area now with that break we waited for a nice little big bullish candle which was this one okay and then what happened is it created a fair value gap in the market so what happened when the fair value gap gets created, you, the price tends to return to that fair value gap, pull into that and look at that nice little buy setup that took place. Again, you know, what is that? That is, let's call it to that. It's 150 pip move at least that you could have caught. Now, price made a turn to the top. Okay. And look at this. Price turned at the top and then it started pulling back. Where is it pulling back to? Okay. Again, price pulls back to a fair value gap, an imbalance in the market. Right? So which one is it this time? Look at this big candle, that big push. Look at this gap or that imbalance that it forms right about there. And look at that. Okay. Price pulling back into that imbalance in the market that fair value gap and then now we're sitting on again fair value gap 15 minutes on an hourly time frame and the four hour time frame it's hitting that 62 percent area so this for me is a key area so now what we're going to do is we're going to wait and see what price does i like to just you know look at this area over here i would like to see price breaking out of that area creating some sort of a, you know, signal for buys 
or like I said, never underestimate the market. Price can just move to the downside again. Um, COT reports. Let's have a look at what's happening over here. Um, we're looking at the euro, not the pound, the euro. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So now we could see that there's a huge change in the longs. So basically, a lot of longs were closed in the market, lots of shorts were closed. So that net position went from a 50 to a negative 6, which we could see on the on the left little, um, uh, let's call it a plot area chart, you could see that big push to the downside. Okay, so now people are going, oh no, it's going to start selling off, but wait. If you look down a little bit more towards the beginning of last month, something similar happened, okay? So you could see that price was heading towards the upside, you know, then slowly back again, similar to this, 52, 50, we had a 39, 31, 22, then all of a sudden a big negative six, okay? Lots of longs being closed, shorts being open, market or the big institutes pushing that price down into negatives. What happened after that? All of a sudden, a lot of longs being opened and a lot of shorts being closed. Now we're sitting with a very similar situation. We had a 52,000 um, net order, 50,000 net order, all of a sudden, lots of longs being closed, lots of shorts being opened, market pushing or the guys pushing the price down, the Fed, the big banks, all those guys pushing the price down. And now what do we expect? A repeat of, you know, what happened in the beginning of last month. So let us have a look. Okay, will this be the case of price heading up again? Or was that last little push that happened again last month? Beginning of last month, similar situation, you know, guys just, you know, do what they do. So let's have a look. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that analysis. I hope it makes sense to you. Um, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. There's definitely more analysis coming your way this weekend. So guys, um, hope you're having a wonderful and, um, you know, safe weekend. Stay safe and happy trading, guys. Yeah.